What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and we have another Hidden Fates ETB video. These are hard to find, but we managed to get uh, our pre-orders in. Ah, such mixed emotions when it comes to game nerds recently. Ordered a bunch of them. Essentially, almost ah, like 75% of my orders got canceled. First time I had a problem with them, but... So... Still, like, they think they have the best prices. But this was a tough pill to swallow. <laughs> Either way, glad we finally got our pre-orders. Oh man, I never realized how, like, textured the box is. I like it. These things are still packaged very well with this weird divider thing. Super useful. Don't care much for the energies. The sleeves are nice. And boom, they do a good job with this guy. I've been keeping these guys in these and I'll put it in a card saver. Let's see, don't care about the dice. Oh, wait. There is a code card in here. Alright. Let's get going. We have 10 more packs of Hidden Fates. Huge shout out to Wolfie and D. We did a battle with them. Uh, video should have dropped earlier today. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Go check out their video as well. We pulled some insane stuff. <laughs> I am pretty feeling confident about that battle. Let's get into our first pack of this ETB. I'm going to keep saying it. In my opinion, this is the best Hidden Fates product, even compared to the ones yet to come. I'm not sure. It's going to be a while before a promo tops that card right there. All right, we have Misty for our first pack. Jinx. So over to the side, Graveler, a Jigglypuff, a Staryu, Ekans, Eevee, Pikachu, a Mew for our first pack, and then a Zerga Treat Shiny right off the bat. I'm not sure if I have this one. Dazzling Blast, Pokemon's not confused, exactly three prize cards. Mm, that's underwhelming. Zerga Tree's an interesting thing. I associate Zergatry with Blacephalon, just like, I have no idea what I'm looking at. <laughs> very strange Ultra Beast, but a very strong start to our opening. Let's keep going. Let's see. If you guys haven't checked out the Discord, definitely recommend doing so. And, oh yeah, there's a giveaway going on right now. Uh, towards the end of the video, there'll be one of those uh, clickable link thingies where you can find the video if you have yet to enter pretty straightforward instructions and we're going to pick the winner on Friday morning best of luck to everyone Misty's water command for our second pack and then whoa, we got Brock and Misty both together no one cares kind of I think um Misty's Brock's grit and Misty's determination is that are those in this set for some reason I think so and then if they are I'm kind of surprised they don't have full arts Especially for something that already exists. Alright, so nothing in that one, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, what else is going on? So, come November, we are going to be playing Pokemon Sword and Shield. We'll have a Switch for then, so. And I probably, I'll try to do content and maybe try to stream that. We got another Brock's training. And then a Beldum. Shiny number two, getting all the shinies. This one is a dupe, but Zergatry is not, so we're calling that a win. Hit number two. I feel like so far, almost every single time I get five hits. Nothing, haven't pulled anything too insane in these yet. Uh, tons of rocket full arts, though. <laughs> we are pros at getting plenty of those. So, but yeah, Kev, getting a Switch, if you know anything about streaming the Switch, like kind of like if you have a capture card that you would recommend, let me know in the comments. Probably be some time before I get all that set up, have a good amount of time to figure it out. Uh, Mid-November, I believe, is when the game comes out, and going to be pretty excited. It's been a while since I played one of those games, so I'm pretty sure I can figure it out, though. Jesse and James. Oh, Ranguru, shiny number three. This is a very strong one. This is another card that, man, if they did this set like a year ago, 
oh man this card would have been hot such a really such a useful card just to have on your bench just keep playing all your cards and then instruct you know you're almost every turn you like draw two or three cards that is hit number three and that is not a dupe all right we are improving on our dupe problems all right let's keep going we have a charmeleon graveler a far-fetched paris charmander slowpoke psyduck a clefairy Ooh, the birds the birds not as good as these birds but very nice cleave fable oh, i feel like i feel like i pull like a billion reverse club fairies i don't remember getting many of those club fables Ooh, you know this is actually a really good art i feel like but the full art is really nice and really good color scheme and then the stained glass is just insane maybe i don't give this one enough credit such a cool card and for like tag teams like now that, that one's a thing it's like oh man when's the uh like the starters like of every gen the you know suikun raiko entei so many possibilities have been opened once you open it to three i feel like pokemon is all about sets of three so this this tag team mechanic they can uh if they want I'm, i think they can milk that for <laughs> quite some time as far as coming oh yeah okay so we do have Brock's grit and misty's determination i'm surprised they didn't make the full arts for the set all right ekans a voltorb erica's hospitality for the rare and then a magic harp bit of a dud on that one but we are at four hits so far we still got four more packs i think we're gonna be just fine maybe we're gonna have our best opening yet All right, let's see. We got a Darkness Energy, Jinx, Charmeleon, Chansey, a Magikarp again, Ekans, Voltorb, Geodude, Pikachu, Electrode for a rare. Oh man, so many Misty and Brock cards in this opening. Moves off to the side. Make some space. Ooh, still looking for that card. But prices are going down at a steady rate these days. We actually did a video about the current state of the market yesterday evening. If you haven't seen it, definitely recommend you go check it out. Talk a little bit about some vintage stuff as well, specifically Base Shadowless. I bet it's more, more affordable than you might think. So if you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out. For this next pack, we have Bill's Analysis, a actually useful supporter, and then a Reverse Jolteon. Oh man, I feel like I jinxed myself, <laughs> like, oh we'll be fine, and all of a sudden we only have two packs left. Want to get more than five hits, so we're going to need something right here, and then get something in that last pack as well. Fairy Energy, Brock's Gym again, Giovanni, Lieutenant Surge. Cubone, Geodude, Eevee, Jigglypuff, Coughing, Erica again, Chansey Reverse. Oh boy, I definitely jinxed myself. Comes down to this Mew pack. Can we get Shiny GX or something? To be honest, so far I feel like our tin from yesterday. <laughs> It was better than this ETV, even after the promo. Misty's Gym, Charmeleon, Brock, Eevee, a Pikachu, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Blaine. You and your last stand. Oh, so many supporters. <laughs> you got like all the supporters. Two Erica's. A Bill, Misty, another Erica, Jesse, James, Misty, Brock. Oh boy. So we did get a good amount of shinies and a new one at that too. For our pulls, we did get the birds. Oranguru, very happy with that one. Beldum. And then a Zergatree. So two new shinies. So that was a, a victory in its own way. 
but not an insane box. Either way, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our pack battle with Wolfie and D if you have not already. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.